I'm Drifty from Driftwood Gaming and welcome back to Learning RPG Maker MV. We're going to go over some Yanfly plugins and this one in particular we're going to look at Yanfly's Hide Show Shop Items plugin and I'll give you an example of how to use it. First of all we notice Yanfly has changed his website around now using a media wiki page which looks really nice and it seems to be cataloged a bit better but in order to get this plugin I'm going to put a link in the description below for it and we're going to be downloading this one. You can go to Yanfly Engine Plugins and then click on the entire collection right at the top he's made it convenient to click on download now and then you can decide to gift any amount of money you want in order for the whole collection or just find the plugins you want or if you don't have any money or you're not linked your account is not linked you can just say no thanks and take me to the downloads it'll download and then you can have all of the plugins so thank you so much Yanfly let's jump into uh, the RPG Maker MV application and look at an example of this plugin in action First of all, we'll have to add it into our games folder. So we'll go to game, open folder, and we'll put the files that we download into the JS plugins folder, and they'll go right here. Now, once they've been added right here, they should show up inside the plugin manager, as you'll see here. And once they're in the plugin manager, you can add and remove and turn on and turn off. So I've added only three plugins in this little sample project. I've added the core engine just to do changing the screen height and screen width and some other arbitrary things. I don't believe it's required, but it is a plugin that depends on other plugins. So here's the plugin we're going to be looking at specifically, the Yep X Hide Show Shop Items plugin. And this is a good rule of thumb here. If you see an X, that means it's dependent on other plugins. If you're not sure which ones, you can usually look inside the description and it'll tell you at the top what it is a child of. So this is a child of the Shop Menu Core plugin, so you need to have uh, the Shop Menu Core uh, on top of it for the, for the Hide Show Shop Items plugin to read properly. So once we've got the Shop Menu Core, you can put this one right underneath it and turn it on. So this is a simple plugin. You can do some other code if you want to have things happen, but it's pretty much plug and play. One thing I will point out is when you use this plugin, it will automatically hide all of your items. We're gonna look at the note tags that you can place on the items, the weapons, and the armor, and or the armor. Once one of the, for each of these right here. We're gonna look at this, this, and this. Let's go into the database. Once we've got our plugin set up, we jump into the database here. I'll give you an example. If you start the game, you'll notice that your shopkeepers, even though you, that you're doing a shop processing, all of these items will be hidden from default after you've installed the plugin. To get around this little thing, you allocate one switch for all of your basic items. So I'm using switch 10 for every item that I want to just have shown when I put it in the list. And I'm going to copy paste this first note tag, shop hide if switch on, and we're using 10. We're going to use this plugin and it's going to give us the ability to hide different items inside the, the shop processing. There's a trade-off, you actually have to copy paste this note tag for all of your items if you want them to be shown by default. It'd be cool if there was an option to toggle this on or off, but you sort of have to do this. I'll illustrate this real quick by removing the shop hide if switch on on the potion. Right now we have the default potion with no note tag and in our plugin manager we've got shop menu core and hide show shop items. Now inside this event we're doing a shop processing and we've got the potion here for sale but because we got rid of the note tag that will cause it to show, it's being hid, hidden by default. So when we go into the game, we'll only see Magic Water Dispel Herb and Stimulant from the beginning. So let's take a look at that real quick. Buy my things. And you can see that we're missing the potion because it doesn't have the note tag there. That's why we put the note tag in once we use this plugin. Once again, it's the shop hide if switch on. And the reason why you want to do this is all the pl all the switches are off by default. If you have it hide if a switch is on, then you just never turn on switch 10 or whatever switch that you allocate for this one thing. You don't need one for each item, you only need one for all of the items. You just never turn on switch 10 and you might want to name this switch something convenient. Like if we go to control switches, I've named my switch 10 keep off to show basic items. I'll never use this switch for anything else 
and I keep that switch off so that all of my basic items show in the shop processing. So now, how do we use the plugin to show items when a switch is on or a switch is off? Let's look at the next thing. I've made a pickaxe and I'm using the note tag show hide if switch off 11. Once the switch has been turned on, the pickaxe will be available in all of the shops that have them there. The switches, once again, will be off by default, so the pickaxe won't be there until we turn on switch 11 by some other means. Looking at another thing, we've got an autistic shovel. This can be purchased if you've rescued all three of the town members so we're using this note tag, shop hide if any switch is off. If any of these switches are off, then it's going to hide. In order for this to actually show in the shop processing, all three of the switches, 11, 12, and 13, have to be on. And that's how that'll work. This next one is an example of how you can use the shop hide if all switches are off. And you can do these the opposite by using on. This is the off methods. I'm using 11, 12, and 13, the same three that I've already used. This option will be able, you'll be able to buy the medicine the medical herbs if any of these switches are, are on because it only hides if all three of the switches are off. So as soon as we turn on 11, 12, or 13, then it'll show the medicinal herbs. So let's take a look at this in the game to illustrate that this stuff actually works. If we talk to the guy, he's going to do shop processing and he will show you the four basic items that we've set up a switch for. Now we'll talk to the the botanist we've rescued the lost botanist and uh, thanks for helping me out here and uh, now if we talk to uh, um, each one of these events I didn't show all of them but they all just show a text and turn on a switch so this is 11 12 and 13 I turned on switch 13 so now when we access this right here we see that medicinal herbs are available because we turned on any one of the switches now I talked to the botanist to get the medical medicinal herbs but I could have talked to the fisherman and turned on switch 12 and it still would have been there I'm just trying to show multiple note tags we've got one of them on it's showing that one and we rescued the miner the miner specifically turns on switch 11 and the first thing the first one the pickaxe is saying only show if switch 11 specifically is on. So now we are able to buy the pickaxe because switch 11 is on and we can still buy medicinal herbs because one of 11, 12, or 13 is on. Now the last one is just switch 12. We can uh, rescue the lost fisherman. We've turned on switch 12. So now we have 11, 12, and 13 on. We have all three of them on. So the autistic shovel is now available for purchase. So this is just a quick showcase on how to use Yanfly's Hide Show Shop Items plugin. Thank you guys so much for watching this quick tutorial. If you found it informative or helpful, please give this video a thumbs up, share it with anybody you'd like. We'd love to see you on the Discord. Links are in the description below if you'd like to support what I do. I do have a Patreon. Love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.